you're going to be using this Montagne Genus Creamy Coconut Hydrating Vitality Boost for Tired Skin. It is a mask. It says for healthy skin, use weekly. It is coconut water and shea butter. It is 15 mils, 0.5 fluid ounces. Says we've harnessed the hydrating goodness of fresh coconut water and added lots of lovely ingredients to moisturize and hydrate, including super smoothing shea butter, sexy natural skin care. You cleanse your face, you apply, you relax for 10 to 15 minutes, and then you rinse. Uh, it says, warning, looks and smells delicious, but please do not, please don't eat for external use only. We prefer natural ingredients, but test for, but test for irritancy before use and keep out of reach of children. Keep away from eyes. If contact occurs, wash out with clean, cold water straight away. P.S. Enjoy. Bottom note says, we're vegetarian and animals are our friends. That's why we don't bash bunnies or add bits of animals. Um, and it's got the cruelty free symbol, the vegetarian standard symbol, and some other symbol. And it says caringly made in the UK by Montagne Genus. Um, there is a website montagnegenus.com. If you'll be able to see the brand name right there, it's that brand name dot com. This is what the back of the packaging looks like. And here's the warning. And I'm not sure what this little arrow symbol is, but there's cruelty free vegan standard symbol. Don't know if you'll be able to see, but inside that is what it looks like. It has a slight smell of coconut and a little bit of the shea butter smell, but it's nothing overpowering. The only thing is on the instructions, it does not say to, if you need to use the whole packet or if you portion it out, because it did say for great skin to use weekly, so I'm assuming you use a little bit out of this. This is what my face looks like after Applying it. It doesn't say how thick to apply it as the picture on the front showed really white mask But if you are planning on using it weekly, then I think that this should be a significant Enough layer. I'm going to leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. Come back and see how it works This is what my face looks like right now after 10 minutes it does dry and it does give that tight feeling. Now I'm going to wash it all off, come back and see how it looks. I am back. This is what my face looks like. I was a little bit red before I started so let's glued that part. I don't know if you're able to see parts where it looks a little bit shiny. This, my skin does feel soft, super soft right now. And I will say that it actually does feel pretty hydrated and I do notice a little bit of a skin glow as you can see. But it does make my skin feel soft. It's not harsh or anything. It didn't burn or sting. The only thing that was a little off-putting was, I guess, the smell a little bit wasn't overly bad. It's because of the shea butter, I believe. There's some coconut water in there, but there is not a whole lot of coconut smell to it. So I think it's mainly that shea butter smell. And I've had them sitting out for about two, maybe two months or something. And I hadn't tried them till now so maybe that's why I'm not sure but it'd be interesting to see how it would look if you were to put the packets in the fridge and do it starting from cold 
if that would make any more of a difference but right now my skin feels moisturized which it's supposed to do and it feels hydrated it doesn't my skin doesn't feel irritated or anything and I have really sensitive skin so you'll see in the morning how well my skin looks if there is any residual irritation or anything like that and we'll keep following with updates on another test to see how it works later in the week. It's normally my skin is so sensitive that I break out. You can see spots here, there's one here, there's one starting here because it's been so hot and humid so it's going to be hard to tell if if it's just from the weather or if my skin will break out from the mask, but I don't think that it should.